Welcome to initializing objects using constructor methods. So in this lecture, we're going to be going over what a constructor is, and then we're going to be looking at constructors with and without parameters. So what is a constru constructor? Before we go over that, I know in, like earlier in the course and for a long time, we've been talking about creating an object of a class. So remember, a class is a like a blueprint and an object is like the final build version or like the prototype of the blueprint. So we've been talking so much about creating an object from, an cl from a class and the constructor method or it's a type of a constructor is a type of method and that's exactly what enables us to do so. So Let's take a look at um, an, um, this and we see that a constructor is a method that creates an object of a class and object is also like an instance of a class. So a method method is what enable this method is what enables us to do that and the characteristics of a constructor. So remember a constructor is like a regular constructor method. There's um, there's um, it's just like a regular constructor um, it's like another method, it's declared the same way. There are a few changes, but it's like a method. So this method, um, the constructor method, the method name is the same as the class name. And this method, one of the exceptions to declaring it is that it doesn't have a return type. So you know, usually we put void if it doesn't return something or maybe something like um, string or boolean or int or whatever the whatever the um, method returns but in the case of a constructor method there is no return type and the purpose of the constructor method is to set instance give instance variables values so it's to initialize the class initialize an object and have set some uh, values of the instance variables which are a part of the class and you can use constructors with or without parameters so this seems a little bit vague right now so we're gonna look at um, different constructor declarations. So here is a constructor without parameters. So let's say we have the um, gradebook class and the gradebook class has an instance variable um, private int points semicolon and that's how this instance variable is declared. So then in within this class Somewhere in this class, we have the public gradebook um, parentheses method, and the purpose of this method is is this is we know that this is a constructor method because it has the same name as does the class, and the class's name is gradebook, and similarly the method's name is gradebook as well. So these parentheses are placed um, to indicate that it's a method, and then we'll go. Let's look at the body of the class. So we have a simple thing which sets the value of the points private instance variable to be zero. So now in another in a client program or any other program, we could declare a object known as let's declare a variable known as book. And we could say gradebook book equals new gradebook parentheses semicolon. So what this is doing is is that this is creating a variable book that is of type gradebook and it's basically referring to a gradebook object and this gradebook object is created from a class and it's created from the gradebook class so what's happening is is that we're as you can see it says new gradebook parentheses so gradebook parentheses is referring to the constructor method which we've defined um, in the gradebook class and what this does is, is that this constructor method is enabling us to create a book variable, which is um, of gradebook type, so it's of gradebook class, and um, it, its um, values include points being equal to zero. And book is considered to be an object reference, so book is referring to an object, uh, which is in this case gradebook, so it's considered to be an object reference. And you can create object. Oh, so basically, what we've done with this declaration in the client program is we've created an object with the points instance variable set to zero. So the 
the first two lines are um, part of the cl gradebook class and the last line is part of an external program. So we're using this constructor method known, um, we're using a constructor method in this case gradebook because the class name is gradebook and we're using that in an external program to actually create an object, in this case book, of the class. So now we first time we've created an object of a class and as you can see we're creating the book object from the gradebook class. So now let's take a look at constructors with parameters. So it's going to be um, somewhat similar. So let's take a look. Public gradebook in within the parentheses int pts. So pts is supposed to represent points. And we know that this is a parameter because it's within the parentheses. And this parameter is of integer type. And remember that this is another constructor. It's the same. It's another constructor. and um, it's it's um, again it's named gradebook because the class name is gradebook and um, what it's doing is it's setting the value of the private instance variable points to the value of PTS and PTS is a parameter that the user will um, define when um, calling this constructor method and we're using this in the class gradebook as I mentioned and now let's take a look when we're writing this in an external program in a client program so we have gradebook book equals new gradebook in parentheses 12 semicolon so what this is doing is it's calling the um, con public constructor method which is gradebook parentheses int pts so we're replacing int pts with 12 so we're setting the value of pts to be 12 and what this is doing is this is creating the book variable of type gradebook and the book is an object and it, um, it's a uh, object reference so it's referring to the gradebook object and this object has a um, has an instance variable points which has a value of 12 and the reason it has a value of 12 is because within the parentheses the argument is 12 so PTS is equal to 12 and that sets the value of the points private instance variable to 12 and as you can see whenever we're um, using this um, we're, cr we're creating an object we're also using the new keyword and the new keyword is something that's um, very important and this declaration gradebook book equals new gradebook um, in parentheses 12 semicolon this is very similar and it's something that we've seen earlier we've seen this when we declare scanners we often go scanner s equals new scanner in parentheses system dot in and so we know that scanner represents the type s represents the variable name and that's equal to new new keyword is common in all of this and then it says um, this and then it, and it says new scanner in parentheses system dot in in this case it's at gradebook parentheses 12 so as you can see that because the class name is scanner scanner is put over there and when we're referring after new when we're saying new scanner system dot in we're basically referring to the scanner constructor which is part of the scanner class that we've imported so we're referring to the scanner constructor and we're passing an argument of system dot in and the parameter for the scanner constructor which is part of the scanner class will um, we're fulfilling that by putting system dot in and similarly that's how we declare strings as well string um, name equals new string in parentheses within quotation marks Sam um, semicolon so what that is doing again we have string at the beginning which is the type then we have name which is the name of the variable equals new and then we have string in parentheses Sam so what this is doing is this is calling the string constructor and we're using the string constructor to create an object of the string and yes because string is not a primitive type a string is an object and we'll be taking a look at that later in the course but the important thing to know is similarly to declaring variables this is just like declaring variables but we have the new keyword and we're using these we're using constructors of classes so whenever you want to create an object from a class you have to create um, whenever you want to create an object of a class you need to call the constructor method and therefore the class needs to have a constructor method so that an object of the class can be created and 
Notice how we came up with two different constructors. One constructor did not have a parameter and the other did have a parameter. So the good thing to know is that we can use both constructors. So sometimes the user may have a number for us, sometimes the user may not. So we can use both constructors and that's something known as overloading and we'll be taking a look at that a little bit later in the course. But the important thing to notice is that a constructor is a very, very important method and it solves the question we always had of how do we create an object from a class. So I know this is a lot to take in and it seems very complicated. So we're going to be looking at some hands-on programs where we're going to understand exactly how constructor methods work and how they function within, um, within a class.